Hello and welcome to the Luxury Hybrid channel. Today's video is going to be favorite things that I've been using for the past few months. Some of them have just been for the past month and some of them have been ongoing since maybe the earlier part of the year and maybe even before that. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm not going in any particular order. Uh, I just have everything in a pile here and I'm just going to grab from the pile and show you. These refreshers, if any of you have watched last summer's vlogs that I did, I was so addicted to these refreshers. And the fact that they make an instant is beyond. So you can carry these packets around with you. One of these packets has to go into a container and you put 16 ounces of water. But my recent thing that I've been doing is I've been putting in Perrier with this. And that little fizz is just, uh, it makes it so delicious and I absolutely love it. I also buy frozen fruit and when I'm ready to make my drink, I take it out, let it defrost a little bit, I muddle it up and then I put it in my tumbler. And my favorite flavor is the berry hibiscus. It also comes in a lemon flavor, but this one is my absolute favorite. Next item on my list is the tumbler that I love to drink these refreshers out of. And this is my Starbucks tumbler. It looks like, I want to call this a peacock, but I don't know if that's what this bird is. I don't know if it's a hummingbird or if it's a peacock, but it's just, I love this color. It just, this color scheme just seems so summery to me. I saw a lot of people on Instagram who bought these two and they were almost sold out everywhere. But um, yeah, I really love this tumbler. It just when I look at it, it just makes me happy to look at. Next thing that I want to show you is the water that I like drinking. Um, I'm trying to find a place that carries it in bulk and I drink water a lot. But this is uh, called Glacier Isle and it is from Iceland. It's imported from Iceland and um, it is a pH balance of 8.88. The reason that I love this type of water is because it's actually very good for your digestive system. And also the alkalinity in the water is just good for your system altogether. It helps to reduce getting sick. The more alkaline your body is, the less acidity there is. So. Uh, bacteria and colds and flus they thrive on a on an acidic level in your body so yeah this is actually really tasty another thing that I picked up from Nordstrom rack I picked this up it was oh this is so great I got a 39% savings it is called the deep freeze hydro bottle and this thing is absolutely amazing because these little beads around here are like those little inserts that you put into your lunch boxes. Uh, you, put it, you put it in the freezer overnight and then you put it into your lunch box and it keeps your food nice and cold. Um, I'm saying lunch box. I don't carry a lunch box, guys. I carry a lunch bag. <laughs> Here is what the bottle looks like. There's a little condensation action happening right now because it is kind of melting and I have something in here to drink. But all of these little beads right here are those gel beads that freeze up. And right here is a button where the straw goes all the way to the bottom so you don't have to pour it. Like if you're driving or if you're at the gym, you just like can drink it and there's no issue. I love this thing. I really, at work, it comes in so handy. Moving on. Uh, I'm going to hit you up with a little bit of fashion, nothing too crazy. Just a, a couple of things that I've been loving the past few months. So Henry Bendel was having a sale and this was a final sale because it was, I think more than 50% reduced. Anything that's 50 and more is final sale. So I picked up this gorgeous red, West 57th mini satchel. I feel like it's showing up as orange, but it's really a beautiful red. And uh, I have been looking at this bag, actually the larger version I've been looking at for the past two years. And I, I feel like the size felt overpowering to me. Um, but I just really, I love this style. I mean, okay, so I'll give you a little close up so you can see it's just so subtle, but it's, it's eye-catching. 
And then the back over here, you have a slit pocket for easy access of a cell phone or cash or a card holder. And then it's engraved. There's so much attention to detail. You can see Henry Bendel engraved here, and that's on both sides. Then when you open the bag, I mean, look at how spacious this pocket is. It's just a main compartment in the front. It does have a little zipper in the back. It has one zip pocket, one main compartment. They have not gotten rid of the West 57th satchel. What they are doing is they're coming out with different color schemes, so you can still pick one up if you like the style of this bag. I love how sturdy it is and how structured it is and how you just put like a really nice monochromatic outfit together and then just make it pop with this little purse right here. It just, I just love it. Next couple of things I'm about to show you, I got on sale. <laughs> so thrilled about that. I got these shoes on sale from, oh, so gross. I went to a barbecue and I wore these. I got these shoes on sale from Banana Republic. They have the uh, scalloped edge. I don't think that they are suede. I think that they are a man-made material. But I had to go half a size up because usually I wear a size seven and it, I felt right on the toe cap that my toe was pushing right against it. So I exchanged them for a size seven and I love how neutral they are. They're just the perfect summer shoe. They're actually quite comfortable considering how flat they are, but there is a teeny little heel. So I, oh, oh, that's so gross. Do you know what that is? Oh my God. When I came back, well, during the barbecue, I accidentally, oh God, this is so gross to say. I accidentally stepped on a slug and I killed it. Oh my gosh. And it just, yeah, I got to wash that off. That's disgusting. Oh my God. Okay. But anyway, still love the shoes. I think they go great. I think they help to make a casual outfit. Just slightly elevated. It's really cute and girly and feminine and I love it. Okay, next pair of shoes that I want to show you are these lace up. I wouldn't exactly call these gladiator style. I don't know what you would call them, but these are from Aldo and I believe they were originally priced at $110 and I got them for $40. And if you watched last year i did an unboxing i wanted these espadrilles that laced up around the ankle there's something about a little lacing around the ankle that i find to be so feminine and delicate and just very pretty and girly but um that was an epic fail so uh this year i scored lovely i love the wedge heel it makes it really comfortable to walk in and the fact that I got it for such a discounted price, I have a feeling that I saw them on the website still available for sale. So the name of this shoe is called the Rothbaum. You should definitely check it out. It also comes in the color black. I think this color that I have is called Cognac. Going on to my next favorite is the travel size version of my Louis Vuitton fragrance. And I just find this little canister to be so sleek and so elegant. And the fact that I can bring it with me to go is just even better. Although, I have to say that I, what I tend to do to make my fragrance last longer is I use a non-fragranced moisturizer. And when I spray it on those areas with a non-fragranced moisturizer, it, I notice that it tends to last a little bit longer than it probably would on bare skin. I just, I think this is so sophisticated. There's so much elegance in this simplicity and I absolutely love it. Moving on to cosmetics is, I'm wearing it on my lips now. This is a Christian Louboutin nude color. It is a matte lipstick. I use it with this waterproof lip liner by Makeup Forever. It's Aqua Lip, the color is 4C. So. I, I'm not sure. I've never used the color Spice by MAC. I know that um, one of my Instagram friends, she also has the same color and she uses it with the Spice liner from MAC. But um, I happen to have this and it's, here's the number 4C and this is what it looks like. I think they complement each other very well. This is just maybe one shade darker than the lipstick. 
I will have to list which color I'm wearing, which color I purchased because I don't remember. Sorry about that, but I'll list it in the description box below. But it just, it really works well together, as you can see. Next on the makeup list is this gorgeous Milani powder blush that I picked up from CVS. I think I either spent $8.99 or $7.99. And this color is truly pigmented. I just do literally one swirl tap and I blush it on. I'm not wearing it today. I probably should have worn it. But I mean, I fell in love with this because it looks like the um, Camellia Flower by Chanel. And <laughs> that's honestly what drew me to this. I mean, they knew what they were doing when they made this. This color that I have is called Romantic Rose. It's the powder blush and the number is 01. Um, so after I wash my face, this is no surprise to you all, I love to go in with this SK2 Essence, but then what I do after I use the SK2 es Essence is I've been using this toner. It's an illuminating Clementine C, and it's for normal to combination skin. It's a brightening type of toner. So this stuff right here, because it contains vitamin C in it, and vitamin C has been known to have good properties to help your skin. When you're using your sunscreen, it's supposed to help promote the sunscreen effectiveness. Another thing that I liked about this is that it's gluten-free, it's vegan and cruelty-free, and there's non-GMO. So I will link everything down below where I picked this up from, but I love the fact that it's just like a spray mist. So you can, I'm not gonna spray it on my face right now because I have makeup on, but you know, so you just kind of all over your face and neck. Then the next thing, actually, I did that reverse. I go in with this, first because it acts as a toner and then after that I go in with this essence because it acts as a segue for in the nighttime I use my Neutrogena rapid wrinkle it's like a retinoid yeah and then in the daytime I go in with my CSI vitamin C 12% I'm telling you that the combination of all of these have brightened my complexion to the point where my male coworkers are noticing and telling me that I look like I'm glowing. That's crazy. Men don't notice anything. Oh, okay, let me rephrase that. The men I work with don't notice anything. So they noticed my skin. It really has changed my skin for the better. And I mean, that's the only thing that I've been doing continuously since the month of December, January. Next is uh, this Cellular Rose. I love using the Cellular Rose. It's another brightening serum and it's a CC serum. So it's by By Terry. What I love about this is that it has a almost, I want to say temporary tan component and it, it's a radiant elixir. So let me just give you an idea of how it looks. So here it is on my hand and spread that around. You all know that I love my Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation by Hourglass. They no longer make this pump bottle. It now comes in a squeeze tube bottle. I don't have the bottle with me, but the one I'm currently using is in the squeezy tube and I will insert a picture so that you can see. The next thing that I use for beauty is this Joer Conditioning Lip Treatment. It is such a great thing to wear on your lips before you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning and you wash your face. I take one of the Shiseido cotton pads and just lightly exfoliate over my lips. But this thing I find to be a miracle worker in terms of the lips. And the last thing that I want to show you is also this um, Kevin Aquan Liquid Lip and it's in the color cashmere. So this was a sample size, but I will be buying this in a full size. And this is how it looks when it comes out of the tube. And the way this color sets and dries on the lips is very comfortable. I mean, it's not so matte where it could last through a meal or a few drinks, but it's really comfortable. And this is the color. This is one of my favorite colors. I've always tried to get away from like a fleshy 
pink or mauvey pink, but I always find myself attracted to them. So <laughs> I'm always buying them in different colors. I have a Louboutin this color. I have this Kevin Aquan this color. I have some drugstore this color, but this liquid lippy is definitely something that I'll be purchasing full price. I even love the packaging, this little ombre effect on it. I think it looks so beautiful. And so the last thing, this is gonna sound so silly to you all, is I love my new manicurist. She just does a really nice job with my nails and I'm really, really happy with them. I think I'm gonna ask her to go like just keep the base of my nail a little bit wider so that the coffin effect when she files it out is more prominent. But yeah, those are my favorites for the past six months, seven months. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll follow me on my social media. That's Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at The Luxury Hybrid. And you can always join the party by clicking subscribe. Remember to smile always, and I will see you guys in the next video.